Greetings everyone, again it's Kenji here, your sculptor. Welcome back to Life of Clay and today we will be making the very interesting, beautiful and most popular species of nudibranch known as the Blue Dragon Sea Slug, Glaucus Atlanticus. Surely perfect subject for sculpting. But before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon so you won't miss out any of our future sculpting videos. So without further ado, come bring the clay on and let's do a float. I first draw a quick sketch of the blue dragon sea slug as part of my study to observe all its anatomical details. And using this drawing as pattern in building its armature. Yes, you heard it right. Armature is essential even to a small sculpture like this one. This will give a good foundation to every sculpture both big and small. I use 1mm stainless steel wires for the forebody and the much thinner bronze wire on the tail section. Connect them together using super glue, cotton string, and baking soda. Mark the wire on where the appendages will be positioned, apply two parts epoxy, add strips of aluminum foil horizontally, twisting both ends to make them tight. Apply more epoxy and add foil to bulk its body and head. Apply PVA glue on the tail wire and wrap it with paper strips. I use 0.8mm bronze wire for the appendages armature. This will add support and will make the attaching become easy. I can say it's a simple subject but at the same time a little bit tricky one. We can now start sculpting its appendages. Form some oval shaped piece of clay and lay them over on a tile. Then flatten them. For its serrata or its papillae, I roll out thin noodle of clay and make the tip pointy. Cut each serrata according to their proper measurements from the shorter to the longer one, based on the reference. Now we can add its serrata, observing their fun-like arrangements, shorter from both sides near the base and getting longer as they come closer to the middle section. Glaucus Atlanticus have many common names including Blue Sea Dragon, Sea Swallow, Blue Angel, Blue Glaucus, Dragon Slug, Blue Dragon, Blue Sea Slug, and Blue Ocean Slug. It's a species of a small blue sea slug, a pelagic aeolid nudibranch, a shell-less gastropod mollusk in the family Glaucidae. Pelagic meaning they live in the open ocean. They float upside down by using the surface tension of the water to stay up and carried along by the wind or the ocean currents. It makes use of counter shading. Blue side of their body, which is the ventral, faces upwards, blend in with the blue water. Silvery gray side, which is the dorsal, facing downwards, blending in with the sunlight reflecting on the water surface when viewed facing upwards underwater. Glaucus Atlanticus feeds on other poisonous pelagic creatures like Portuguese man of war. They are known for their ability to store stinging nematoses from their siphonophores within its own tissue as defense against predator. So holding this blue dragon and other sea slugs is potentially dangerous. It can be up to 3 cm or 1.2 inches in length and can live up to a year under the right conditions. It has flat tapering body and six appendages that branch out into raid finger-like serrata. This serrata, also known as papillae, extends laterally from three different pairs of peduncles. They also use this to slow swimming movements. The radula of this species or the tongue-like organ bears serrated teeth to which paired with the strong jaw and denticles allows to grasp and chip down parts of its prey. It occurs in throughout the world's ocean in temperate and tropical waters. For all the appendages near the tail, I just sculpt them with pure clay along with those on its head.
Now that the serrata were all in place, lay the wire over the base of the first two appendages and cover their top portion with an oval shaped piece of clay. Press them gently to conceal both the wire and all the serrata's base. Brush them with alcohol and cure them using heat gun. I trim off some of the horizontal foil to make them little bit shorter and make deep cuts into them, then using super glue to adhere the first two pairs of appendages. And we can now start sculpting the body and its head. Cover it with thin sheet of clay and shape it until we get the proper form. Sealing all the exposed wires of its appendages. Embedding this ball of pre clay on the side of its body, and this is their genital opening. They are hermaphrodite, meaning they have both kinds of reproductive organs and can reproduce both gametes associated with male and female sexes. And also adding those appendages on its head. And after that, brush it with alcohol to smooth out and cure using heat gun. Now let's proceed in sculpting the tail. Roll out a noodle of clay and form into a basic tail shape. Making shallow incision halfway through and wrap it on the tail wire. Seal the seam and blend it. Make small slits on both sides of the tail just under the second pair of appendages and insert the third pair and same goes to the smallest pair. Seal the base of the added appendages and smooth out with alcohol and do the final baking to complete the curing process. And let us now paint it. For its base color, I mixed titanium white and pearl white acrylic paint. Next is painting those blue patterns around its body using real blue diluted with slow dry acrylic medium. Painting the sides of its body and its dorsal with the mixture of sterling silver, 
pearl white, titanium white, and a little bit of blue. To add shimmer, I apply blue makeup powder mixed with slow dry acrylic medium to all the blue patterns. And finally, sealing it with gloss varnish. And the Blue Dragon Sea Slug Glaucus Atlanticus is finally done. Hope we can have more nude branches sculpture in the future. They are so colorful and interesting. They themselves are art of nature. If you guys did like my tutorial like this one, please consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell icon down below so you will be notified if a new video is uploaded. Thank you so much and may you have a great day everyone.